guys now we are in question number 38 so whatever the pdf that i have sent you already is uh, wrong okay uh, i don't know why there are so many uh, typing errors here so i'll be sending you uh, the corrected uh, this pdf okay pdf uh, i mean the corrected work okay so as i requested before also that please go go through the videos once because there may be some uh, uh, errors which can be sorted out uh, in time of uh, video making okay because while recording video what happens is that when i explain uh, uh, things here so the errors can be pointed out okay anyway so in question number 38 uh, the situation is quite similar to question number uh, 35 okay so don't worry about these uh, i mean uh, this particular entry okay don't worry about this particular entry don't just worry about it okay in fact you can omit this part okay if you want to because it is not necessary okay uh, but still i have done it here so let us continue okay so 3000 shares okay you can read the question that holders of 3000 shares they failed to pay the allotment money okay so this uh, allotment rupees was how much five rupees okay which includes a premium of rupees two per share okay so this is actually uh, the uh, calls in area for allotment okay and i have already told you that whenever the calls in area is due on allotment so the subsequent call is also uh, in area okay so 3000 plus 600 is the area on time of first call okay so further 600 shares they did not pay the first call money okay 3000 shares they did not pay allotment as well as first call okay and 600 number of shares they did not pay the first call money okay so this is your entry for the uh, four feature okay for the failure of an uh, i mean for the failure of making payment on allotment as well as first call okay so equity share capital account will be 3600 into 8 why 8 because uh, you can see here that uh, on application it was rupees three okay so uh, on uh, allotment it was rupees three excluding premium money okay so three plus three how much six and on first call how much it was rupees two so three plus three plus two how much it is eight rupees so this is how we come to know so this eight is the called up money okay so three thousand six hundred into eight because uh, total number of shares that are forfeited is 3600 okay and only on 3000 number of shares we did not receive spr money okay so this is your first entry now uh, this this uh, second entry okay oh sorry yes uh, yeah this is the entry which i was talking about okay don't worry about this particular entry um, let us skip this entry for the time being okay now how many number of shares were uh, reissued here oh uh, sorry uh, uh, forfeited here 3600 number of shares right so out of 3600 number of shares only 3200 shares are being reissued so we have to worry about this part and uh, it is clearly mentioned that uh, when the number of shares were again uh, reissued the reissued number of shares included entire these three num uh, this 3000 number of shares and extra 600 number of shares okay so let us have a look at the working note so c so this 12600 as you can see here this 12600 okay so this is from here 9000 plus 3600 how much 12600 okay so let us have a look at the working note okay so reissued involved entire 3000 shares on allotment money was due okay and half of the uh, shares okay on which first call money was due were reissued okay so amount of reissue on 3000 shares is 9000 and amount of forfeiture on 600 shares extra which uh, they did not pay the first call money it was rupees 3600 okay so now from these 600 number of shares okay which represents 3600 we have to just find out for 300 number of shares so for 300 number of shares it is 1800 okay so what is the uh, total amount of uh, forfeiture 9000 plus 1800 it is how much 10800 so 10800 minus 6600 that, that is you can see here uh, on time of uh, reissue we are having share forfeiture account 
which is your 6600 in the you know, debit side okay so it will be 4200 number of shares okay so this 4, 000, uh, this 4200 is the profit on uh, reissue of 3300 number of shares okay so again i want to uh, repeat you uh, this particular section one more time that when we reissued number of shares okay when we uh, reissued uh, the number of shares it involved this 3000 okay and 300 from here okay so for 300 we did this kind of working note okay so we get the value 1800 okay so for 9000 sorry for 3000 we have the value of 9000 so 9000 plus this 1800 for 300 number of shares okay we get the value 10800 minus 6600 is equals to 4200 which is your profit on reissue of 3300 number of shares okay so uh, what about uh, the entry for the second call when the, the second call was made we had uh, this for uh, this uh, uh, error on uh, 400 number of shares so the uh, entry can be this way equity share capital account okay full value has been called up rupees 10 okay so share second call 400 into 2 and the remaining will be 3200 okay so in the balance section you can see here that uh, this is the amount okay this uh, 3000 shares they were entirely reissued so there is no balance left out okay but out of 600 300 shares they were reissued right so the balance left out from this 3600 is 3600 minus 1800 will be how much 1800 okay 1800 is the balance left out but if we include uh, this uh, for feature money on uh, this 400 number of shares also we can have the value 5000 okay but if uh, you want to but if you want to only know that how many uh, uh, sorry how much money is due i mean uh, the uh, uh, for feature money is uh, in the balance you know, is 1800 okay so from 5000 if you subtract 3200 you will get the value 1800 okay so this is your complete journal entry for all the type of entries that we faced here okay in question number 38